5,000. 5,000. Can you believe it? Selma, 5,000 subscribers. Amazing. Congratulations on crossing the 5,000 subscriber milestone here on YouTube. 5,000 subscribers. 5,000 subscribers already. And hopefully soon it's 50,000 and then 500,000. These 5,000 are well deserved. And here's to the next 5,000 and way beyond. Congratulations on achieving 5,000 new subscribers. Congratulations on your 5,000 subscribers. I just want to thank you for all of your tips and tricks. Thanks, Alma. I'm so proud of you, my friend. High five. Thank you so much for what it is that you do. Congratulations again for crossing that milestone. High five. Fist bump. If I were to have 5,000 people in a room together in front of me right now and talk to them, that would be like, oh my God, overwhelming. I'm so thankful to each and every single one of you. But before we can see how we got here, we gotta take a look back. Ali and I started to work together on our video marketing business. And the thing is that it's interesting working with your spouse. It's a whole new different dynamic and we're finally getting used to doing that. I do the scripting and the SEO and the content strategy part of the work and Ali does the post-production, the editing and the creative direction, graphics, branding and all of that. In March 2017, I finally decided to form a community using Facebook groups and boy has that turned out to be an amazing experience. And a thousand people have joined this group, a thousand amazing entrepreneurs who participate and who are involved and who are making videos and who are going out of their comfort zone. It has really been a way of me being able to connect on a deeper level with you and I am so, so thankful for each and every single one of you. Something that was very close to my heart and I take a lot of pride in was launched in October, which was my Be The Media Mastermind, my video training academy. I started when I was not 100% ready, but I put out a beta launch and I got an amazing 17 founder members to the mastermind. I had been stumbling around in the dark a little bit about what I should be doing on YouTube. So I had this call with Selma one-to-one -one, and she was amazing. I had no idea that this, there was this big opportunity for me to go after. From Selma, I've learned how to structure my videos that keeps my audience engaged from the very first 10 seconds of my video. And I loved how confident she was, how clean her videos were and how powerful she was. The way that she explained things was very concise, consistent, and easy. It's not until you really understand why you're doing what you're doing that you really can do it the best you can do it. Do that. The content that you provide is amazing. The service that you provide through that content is even better. Your information is impactful, it's useful, it's full of value. So I really recommend the Be The Media Mastermind. Thanks so much, thank you, Salma. I am so, so thankful to all the members of the Be The Media Mastermind. You inspire me to be a better video marketer, to be a better leader, and to be a better trainer, a better mentor. Okay, probably one of the biggest things that I was able to do this year was take my family on a slow travel vacation to Thailand. By slow travel, I mean take out an entire four to six weeks and live like locals and experience the culture and do all the things as though we live in a particular location. My husband and I finally made this dream a reality and we moved for a month to the tiny tropical island of Koh Samui, Thailand. And I can tell you that one week of pure vacation and then three weeks of workcation. I am shooting from the exotic island of Koh Samui in Thailand. And boy, did we have fun. We learned tons. We bought a GoPro while we were on vacation. We shot tons of footage. And we live like locals. We airbnb we rented a place out. And we cooked, we traveled, we did so much stuff we swam every day it was it was probably one of the highlights of 2017 One of my biggest aspirations is to be able to speak on stage in front of people. And I got a second chance at being able to do that at Inbound, which is a marketing conference hosted by HubSpot every year in Boston. I shot a ton of interviews with a ton of influencers. I met amazing people. I had profound 
deep conversations. So it wasn't just about speaking on stage, but it was really taking the online world offline and connecting with people. And I chose to connect with just a few people, but have more meaningful conversations with those people rather than trying to, you know, just go to like 200 sessions all at once. I work with two brands, TubeBuddy and Powtoon. And I can tell you those were amazing experiences so far. Uh, Powtoon is this fun, amazing company and TubeBuddy is run by these really chill but very professional people. As far as my speaking goals for 2018 go, I'm really looking forward to speaking at different conferences in 2018, some of which that have already been finalized. There's Video Marketing World happening in Dallas, which I'm super, super excited about. Thank you so much to Jeremy West for including me in the speaker lineup and also to Chris Marr for hosting Content Marketing Academy live in Scotland. Super excited to be at that event and speak at that event and meet all the amazing people who are going to be attending as well as speaking. So that's coming up in 2018 and I hope to add a few more conferences to this amazing lineup. I want to give a huge shout out to Nick Neman. Thank you so much for everything you do. Brian G. Johnson, thank you for featuring me on your book. Roberto Blake, as always, a fountain of information. Amy Schmidauer, it was a pleasure to learn from you. Peg Fitzpatrick, who is single-handedly responsible for helping me get on Instagram. Subi Zimmerman, it was a pleasure to meet you. Rand Fishkin and Geraldine DeRuter, travel blogger. I had so much fun interviewing you guys. Ollie Gardner, who I have to say is a presence on stage. Nathan Collier, thank you so much for that wonderful chat. I'm looking forward to interviewing tons of more inspirational people in 2018. 2017 for me was all about learning two things, two important lessons. I'm not gonna make it complicated. Real easy, two lessons. Start before you're ready build relationships. I really started projects before I had all the pieces of the puzzle together. I started when I could, where I could, like for example, the Facebook group or the Be The Media Mastermind. I just started them without overthinking it and overanalyzing stuff and then learning as I go along to make things better. The second thing was to build relationships. Going at big marketing conferences and meeting 2000 people is perhaps not the best way, um, the best use of your time. And I really think that if you focus on meeting just 10 people, but have deeper relationships with them, really connect, really get interested in what they're doing, really follow their work, and just be genuinely interested, then I think that that's gonna take you much, much further and it's gonna build your business faster. So those were my two takeaways from 2017. And going into 2018, I just really want to focus on implementation and consolidation. So I just really want to build up and scale up the things that I've already started. I think it was Bill Gates who said that most people overestimate what they can do in one year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years. So I'm thinking long term, I'm thinking a decade. So what do I need to do in 10 years and then break it down? And so my year one or my year two is not gonna look as overwhelming. I just wanna make sure that I pace myself, that I do things I love, that I build relationships with people. I wanna thank all of you for being here, for watching, listening, subscribing, following, all of that stuff. And let's all build our brands together for 2018.